What's up guys, it's your boy Josh Sanchez with another YouTube video and in this video we're actually going to be talking about the three different types of analysis that you can use when analyzing the charts for the currency exchange market and this is for those of you watching who are looking to take your trading career seriously, right? So the first we're going to talk about, the first analysis we're going to talk about is going to be the fundamental, the second is going to be sentimental and then the third is going to be technical. All right, and then we're gonna talk about which analysis may work best for you when you're actually taking a look at your chart. So with that being said, guys, let's roll the intro clip, let's get into it, and I'll see you guys on the other side. Let's go. Alright guys, what is going on? So as I told you guys today, we're gonna to focus on three different types of analysis that you can actually apply whenever you're looking at the uh, currency charts, right? Or any chart for that matter. So let's talk about the first, right? Let's talk about, and honestly, one of my favorites, and that happens to be the technical analysis. So right now we're back on TradingView. If you're not familiar with TradingView, um, you can go ahead and check out my last video where I kind of gave you guys a little bit of an insight on what is TradingView, why so many people use it, and why it's so helpful when you're practicing, when you're studying, when you're really just you know, mastering the craft overall. So we're back on TradingView. We're now looking at Euro USD. Okay. And when it comes to technical analysis, what I want to really, uh, you know, talk to you guys about is simplifying how you look at what's been going on in the market. I know for the most part, um, and, and you know, this is from experience. When I first got into currency trading about seven years ago, um, I would pull up a chart just like this and I had no idea what I was looking at. But what ended up helping me really understand how to read the market was, you know, really technical analysis, you know, and what I typically use or what a lot of traders, uh, technical traders use um, when they're using technical analysis to analyze the market is they like to use trend lines, right? Trend lines to be able to identify, all right, certain levels in the, in the market where price is going to have a correction or a retracement right or reverse whatever term you want to use right so what we're going to do is we're going to read the market we're going to read the market from left to right okay and we're going to start at the very bottom here at the low of the market here for the euro dollar and the the, the currency that we're looking at the currency pair is not really important what's important right now for this video is just understanding how to apply the different types of analysis onto your charts so we're going to start at the low of the market. We're going to move from the bottom and we're going to look for the peak of the market, right? So we're going to spot what we call peaks and valleys in the market, right? Highs and lows in the market. And what we're going to do is as we're identifying the highs and the lows, then we're going to start to plot our um, horizontal line, right? And this is what's going to serve as levels in the market where price will or may have already had some sort of a correction or retracement. So obviously this is something that you want to practice if you're looking to be a technical trader is practice placing your horizontal lines, your trend lines at the low of the market, the high of the market, you know, the peaks and the valleys, the market is constantly creating all of these peaks and valleys and you want to just identify where they're at. So, in this example, we have our valley, other, otherwise known as the low of the market here. We keep moving up and then we have the high. We have a peak here. That was the peak at the time. We move up some more. That was the peak there. This is the low. So we went from the low, the first low, first peak, second low, and that's the second peak right here. So low number one, low number two, peak number one, peak number two, right? Hopefully that makes sense. Now, as we move forward, we start to see that the market starts to, the market trend starts to switch. So in this, we could use a different kind of trend line now, right? Now we could use Instead of using a horizontal line, now we use an actual trend line where we can 
pinpoint the peak of that market of the market and we can move our trend line accordingly to what the market has done right so if you guys look at what the market did at the peak here it bounced away dropped down to a new low had a correction close to that trend line went right back down to create a new low went back up and touched the trend line then it had a retracement close to the same low that we already identified before Remember what we talk about in trading, the market does the same thing all the time. It's just a matter of patience. So for technical traders, what we like to be patient for and wait for are levels where the market is going to have a correction. And that's why we're looking for levels like this, where the market is going to come down, okay, to the same level that it previously had a retracement in. So it came down, had a retracement here, went up had a correction and it stopped in the same area that it stopped before, right? And then it had its correction again and it touched the trend line, right? Went back up, touched the trend line and then it made its way back down. Only this time it actually broke through that low or that support, right? Some of you guys might be listening to this and for some of you more experienced traders, you already know that this is just another way to identify support and resistance. But to simplify for the newest people, um, technical analysis again is utilizing right trend lines, horizontal lines to help you better understand different areas in the market where price is going to have a retracement. And all you're really doing is you're following the flow of the market to execute your positions because the market will do the same thing over and over again. So if you already know that the market had a correction here when it touched this trend line, right? And here, when it touched this trend line, the next time the market comes back up here, you're going to execute your selling position. Now, if the market does the opposite and it breaks and closes above, right? If it breaks and closes above that uh, trend line, then you're no longer going to be looking to place that trade. You're not going to be looking to place that sell. Now you're looking for any possible buying opportunities because now the trend starts to look like it's changing in direction. And that's why using trend lines and using horizontal lines are so helpful because it helps you identify as a technical trader, it will help you identify different supports, different resistance, different areas in the market where price is gonna have a correction. And all you're doing as a trader, as a technical trader is you're being patient and utilizing this form of technical analysis to be able to execute trades at the proper time, not just rushing into the charts, not just randomly placing positions, but you are patiently waiting for the market to come back to either a level of support or a level of resistance and taking advantage of those moves, of those corrections. All right, so now we're gonna talk about the second form, right, of analysis, the second type of analysis, and that is known as the fundamental analysis. When it comes to fundamentals, usually a fundamental trader does not necessarily use trend lines or horizontal lines. A fundamental trader, honestly, they go off of economic news. So if you're a fundamental trader, or if you're looking to become a fundamental trader, then what you're gonna pretty much do is you're gonna leverage websites like, for example, Forex Factory, where Forex Factory will actually give you guys a whole breakdown of the economic news that are gonna happen for different currencies, right? So when you go to forexfactory.com and you go to the calendar, right, the economic calendar, then you're gonna be able to get a better insight on what type of economic event is happening for each particular currency. And each on each individual folder, you're gonna be able to see what kind of impact it's going to have for that particular currency. Now, if you look over to the right-hand side where you see details, actual, if you click on the folder, you're gonna be able to see what kind of impact that news event has had for that currency in the past. So this may be able to help you identify whether the news that is coming up for that currency is going to have either a positive effect for that currency or a negative effect on that currency. So again, with 
fundamental traders, they usually like to pay attention to what is happening with the economy, what is happening, you know, with the news, what is going on with the world overall. And they like to update themselves um, that way to be able to trade off of what is happening on TV, what is happening online, what kind of articles, what kind of, you know, um, elections are going on, what kind of debates are going on and things like that. So they pay very much close attention to, again, what is happening in the world's economy, all right? As where technical traders, they literally just open up the chart and trade what they see, okay? Now, when we talk about sentimental traders, that's pretty much an easy one. Um, for that one, honestly, guys, sentimental traders really just go off of their emotion. They don't necessarily go off of technicals. They don't really go off of what's going on in the world. They more, they more so go off of what it is that they feel the market may do so it's as simple as saying if i pull up this currency pair for example right the aussie cad and i say i feel that this currency is going to go down but i don't have any evidence i don't have any type of thesis i don't have any hypothesis that is going to prove right my my thought or my analysis I'm going off of emotion. I'm going off of what I think it's gonna do. I'm going off of what I feel it's going to do, right? So that's more of a sentimental trader is someone who just goes off of emotion. And you know, I will say that I have met a couple of sentimental traders that have been pretty successful in the past, but the sentimental traders that I've spoken to and have had amazing conversations with, they were very honest with me and, to, and let me know that the journey for them was actually very, very, very difficult because it really does have its ups and downs, right? You're able to have better control of your emotions. That's the upside to it. But the downside again, is that you are trading off of emotion. So there you guys have it very simple the three different types of analysis that you can apply into the currency exchange market into your charts on trading view um, my personal i don't have any personal uh suggestion but i would say if you are new to trading and you are looking for something simple you are looking for something that's going to kind of just make it easier for you to analyze the market and practice the skill i 100 percent would say that technical analysis has been able to do that for me, okay, throughout the last seven years of me really looking to master the crap. And listen, even till today, by no means am I an expert, by no means am I the master of the, of the markets, but I do understand what I'm looking at. I do understand what I see when I do pull up a chart and I use technical analysis to give me a better idea of what the market may possibly do right for its next move so with that being said guys don't forget hit the like button hit that subscribe button i'm going to continue to drop more videos give you guys as much value as i possibly can to help you on your trading journey but again turn on those notifications make sure you subscribe and i will see you guys on the next video everybody take care stay blessed and let's go